How to fix a sexless marriage. That's our topic today, and it's a big one. You can't believe how many people are married and they're not being sexual, except maybe once a month or every other month or every quarter, or it's been years, it's been a decade, it's been two decades. Sexless marriages are real and they're really painful. So if you have yet to subscribe to our channel, please do that. If you have a question, put it in the box below. We want to hear from you. The sexless marriage is real. I've been counseling people for over 35 years and I have seen many sexless marriages and seen them get better. Now, the person who is withholding sex is the problem. Unless you're both withholding sex, then you're both the problem, okay? But you got to find out where the problem is, okay? Was the person sexually abused and they never talked about it? That could be, but if they've been sexually abused, a lot of sexual abused people have plenty of sex and healthy sex because they worked on that issue. Now, if they're avoiding the issue because they want to avoid sex, okay, that needs to be addressed in counseling. And in most cases, you're going to probably need to be with a, a counselor to work through the issues because obviously you can't work through them by yourself. Otherwise, you'd be having regular healthy sexuality. Uh, they could have a porn addiction and they prefer the pornography. There's no risk there. There's no relationship there. They never talk back and they're fine with that. And if you're not fine with it, it's just too bad for you. And the reason you're staying in the marriage, uh, you might have other reasons why you actually are staying and they know that. And so they just let you stay and suffer. And so pornography addiction is a real cause for sexless marriages. Now, of course, there's physical reasons like real chemical depression. I'm not talking about mild, but real chemical depression, like you can't get out of bed kind of depression. Okay. You know, they're, they're, they're probably not working. Uh, they're not functional for them to get to this kind of depression where they would not want to have sex. Okay. Uh, sexuality can be impacted by the thyroid. You can get that checked. You can get the hormones checked. Men are women. Women, if you're low on testosterone, you could not have, not have any sexual desires. There could be, you know, if you've had a hysterectomy and you've had everything taken out and you have no sex drive, that is a common side effect of that. And that is a medical issue. And there are other medical issues that can cause a sexless marriage. And that's something that is totally different than the person who's actually withholding sex. You would have to go to the doctors and, and accept what you have to work with, but you can probably be sexual in ways, in some ways, that work for uh, the partner who doesn't have the medical condition. And also, intimacy and anorexia is a big one, uh, where you actively withhold spiritual, emotional, and sexual intimacy. If you've never heard that term, go to our channel. You'll find a lot of helpful videos on that. Uh, a lot of sexless marriages are because of intimacy and anorexia. And they are uh, characterized by this. The person is too busy for you. They blame you for all the problems in the relationship. They withhold love, especially the way you want to be loved. They withhold spiritually from you. Uh, they withhold um, sex from you. Or like in this case, we're talking about that. But even if they have sex, it might feel disconnected sex. Uh, they're unwilling or unable to share their feelings with you. Uh, they use uh, anger or silence to control you in the relationship. They have ongoing or ungrounded criticism of you. Uh, that can also be what's going on there. Uh, sometimes they control around money, but you feel married and alone. You feel like a roommate. And intimacy and erection is a big cause for the sexless marriage. And now that is willful withholding. That is intentional withholding. And that is very painful. You know, our research shows that living with this sexual neglect is massively destructive for the other person's self-esteem can cause depression in the other person, can cause PTSD symptoms in the other person. Uh, you're, you feel like you're living a lie uh, in front of other people and friends and family, that it looks normal, but it's not normal. Okay, being in a sexless marriage can be fixed if the person who's causing the problem wants to stop doing that. If not, you have to accept that you're in a sexless marriage and you can accept and adapt in hopefully healthy ways uh, or you will adapt in unhealthy ways okay you will be really vulnerable to touch you'll be really vulnerable to people uh, opposite sex giving you attention or any affection you can be really vulnerable to over entertain overeat um, over get involved in some things because you're not getting your needs met in your marriage and this is the, you, this is you being rejected at the very core of who you are 
they're rejecting your, your being, not just your sexuality. And you feel that rejection, even if they're laying next to you for the last decade, but they won't have sex with you. And you're not staying because of um, them having sex or not having sex with you. You're staying because of other reasons. We have a video called, Why Do I Stay When It Doesn't Make Sense? There are issues that you might need to work on. And if they're not willing to go to counseling, you need to go to counseling and get help with why uh, you're permitting this, why there's no boundaries here, why there's no consequences here, uh, what you can do to help yourself, what you can do to have good self-care, how you can be supported in this situation so that you can move forward yourself. Because if both people are stuck, your system works. If you really want intimacy and connection, you may have to fight for it. And this might be the beginning of a journey for you. And if you want help with that, we have counselors who are trained and coaches who are trained in helping people who struggle with sexless marriages. This is a kind of a niche or a specialty. So don't just go to any counselor because you might get really bad advice. So I want to encourage you, you're not responsible for why this is happening to you. And if you are the person who is causing it, there are lots of reasons. Get the mar uh, Sexless and Married uh, DVD. Can we can go in great detail there. It gives you lots of solutions. But this is doable, okay, if it's not a permanent medical condition. But even then, I've had couples who've worked around those conditions and still satisfied their partner. So if you need help, give us a call because we would really like you to have an incredible, abundant sexual life.